my name is Natalia Bobao. I am an actress and host and today I will be showing you guys some exercises so that you're a fit Uber and Lyft driver. So if you're a Lyft and Uber driver already, welcome to the Ride Share Hub channel. Here you'll find a lot of tips and videos on how to become a better, happier, healthier Uber or Lyft driver. If you're considering becoming one, then you can get a sign on bonus by clicking on the link in the description. So today I am going to talk about some very easy exercises that you can do to stay healthy and fit throughout your work shift because you're spending a lot of time sitting down, riding people around, and so sometimes our body can become a little rigid. So it's actually a great idea to think about incorporating some exercises into your daily routine so that you're still healthy, fit, and you feel amazing. And guys, when you're amazing, your customers perceive that and you get higher ratings and tips. So let's start. I usually like to start by doing some stretches because the first thing your body needs is to warm up. It's like waking up in the morning. You can't just wake up in the morning and start, boom, doing stuff. It's like your body needs to slowly warm up. It's like an engine, right? You don't get your car and just like hit 100, you know, in five seconds. So you need to slowly build up the pace. So I'm going to start from my feet to my head. So the first thing is with your feet. And here I have a tree. I have a wall because it's all things that you can find in your everyday life. You know, when you're, you've been driving for a couple of hours and you're feeling tired, you can just easily pull to the side, you know, just find a parking lot, find a diner, whatever, anywhere that you can park your car, get out. And you will always be able to find something like a tree or column, a wall, and just like here, I've got some like grass, but anything that's pretty stable will, will be um, what you need for now. So the first thing you wanna do is stretch. So usually what I would do is with my ankles, just move them from one side to the other. So you're slowly warming up your ankles. It's really important because they usually hold a lot of weight and stress throughout the day. We don't realize this. So you can do this, like how I'm doing this, so in the air, or you can actually just, you can't see it here, but you can actually like do it against the uh, floor. It's up to you, whatever works. So one foot, the other foot. Oh, that's nice. It's warming up. The other foot. Then the next thing you want to do is what I'm doing, you want, to warm, you want to warm up your knees. So the knees suffer a lot because we put a lot of weight on them and we're constantly like, you know, when you're lifting heavy stuff or you're just, you know, whenever you're bending down to get in your car, bending down to get out. So it's really important to also make sure that your knees are properly stretched and warmed up so you can do this. So, you know, I'm actually using the tree to hold on to it so that I can get some stability and move my knee and not fall over, of course. I don't want to get injured by exercise. So just a little stretching, knee, one side. So it's always, if you realize, I'm always doing one side and then I'm doing the other side, okay? And then so one leg and then the other leg. So we're always working from right to left, left to right. We're always making sure that both sides of our body are being warmed up equal. You don't want to work out more one side than the other. Same as you don't when you're when you're driving, you're usually holding the steering wheel with both hands. You're putting the same strength in both hands. So same thing when you're working out. You want to make sure that both your sides are being worked out equal. All right, so we've done some knees. Now we're gonna do some waist. And this is something that people find ridiculous, but it is so important to make sure that your waist is warmed up because especially being Lyft and Uber drivers, we spend a lot of time sitting down and our waist can be a little rigid. So it's just a matter of Make sure, making sure that it's flexible, just warming up a little bit, stretching it, one side. So remember, it's always one side first, and then we're doing the other side. Just making sure that both sides are equally balanced. It's usually, um, I think that people have a natural tendency to be you know, more flexible on one side than the other, so try and work the other side that feels less natural to you, so that you're compensating for that, all right? So now we're gonna move on to our shoulders. So move your shoulders back and front. Yeah, so it's always two sides. It's left, right, up front. It's always two sides. There we go. You can bend a little bit. You can also like, while you're doing your shoulders, you can also bend down so that you're getting like a full body workout. Again, as you see, there's always elements that you can find anywhere on any parking lot, a tree, a column, a wall, because we'll need that for later. And then just like a, a flat surface is ideal. There we go. So now let's do our wrists a little bit. So we're doing one side, 
we're doing the other side we're doing some arm stretches so bring, bring, that way you can see me a little better we're going this way very nice squeeze it nice and tight to squeeze it don't hurt yourselves of course to squeeze it this side so you can see me better this way so I'm stretching okay just get a good stretch just really stretch your arms you won't break I promise I've tried this every single day and I've never had any issue stretching is extremely important never exercise without stretching before and after so all this stretching that I'm doing now is to start and also to end okay so I won't do the end stretch because it will be a very long video but this same stretch that I'm doing to start warming up to start exercising is the same stretch you guys have to do after you finish with your exercise so we did this 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 all right we're gonna do some neck movements so again one side other side back front back front don't like over strain your neck just take it easy I know sometimes it can be a little brusque but just take it easy you know it's our neck also is holding a lot of stress throughout the day so you want to make sure that you're doing this movement as slow as you can but also make sure that you're getting the good stretch all right yes no yes no it's a great stretch all right so let's do our exercises we're gonna start with some squats. So these are very basic. Here, it's really important when you're doing your squats, you wanna make sure that your body, your core is strong and is aligned. You're not sticking your butt out, and you're not sticking your pelvis in. So it's like somewhere in between. And then you're just taking it down. So one, here you go. Just nice and easy. You're going to start slow. And like you see, these are very simple exercises that you can do anywhere. They don't require a lot of space or a lot of time. And it really helps your body stay healthy and especially your mind, guys. Because we're driving for many hours sometimes. So we need to get that break, let off steam and exercise to make sure that we're still, you know, happy, nice, so that customers give us high ratings and some tips. So you see the squats, always make sure that you're sort of aligned right here. Your core is doing a lot of work, so your abs need to be really press together all right so some squats you can do jumping jacks it's up to you it's a good way of get, getting like a general workout if not we're just gonna do squats like I said that's a very easy way to work out your um, your legs make sure that your core is also engaged so up and down up and down and then also if you want to do jumping jacks you can do so you can get legs and arms engaged if not after doing squats, if you're going to start engaging your arms, you can actually do so by still holding the squat position. So your, let's say your butt and your, your core is still putting some, some energy, some, some pressure there. But now you're just going to focus on your arms. So it's like up and down, up and down, up and down. There you go. You can see me now better. Up and down. So it looks like this. Up and down. I'm not going all the way back. Because I will hurt my shoulders and my back and my neck. I'm not going forward. I'm just trying to go kind of like at the same distance as my shoulders. You see that laterally? And that's a great workout for your shoulders. And again, this is a very, let's say, easy and um, I guess achievable workout for everybody. You don't have to be like super fit be like a gym rat to be able to do this it's like for everybody so what is some squats some jumping jacks what is some shoulder exercises again this is just like a very quick exercise video of course you want to do usually what I do is I do three uh, repetitions of ten so I do like one two ten three times so you do ten of whatever you're doing any exercise and you stop for usually like 10 seconds 15 seconds you can get some water while you do that and then do two more two more series two more repetitions so overall it's gonna be three repetitions of ten so ten th ten times three repetitions does that make sense all right something else we can do is we're standing straight and this is also gonna help with your balance you can just stand straight and then you lift your right leg all the way here and then 
you want to also accompany it with your left arm. So your left arm is stretched up here, right? And then you're standing still. And so you're going to follow your right leg with your left arm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to 10. And so you can't see this right now, but I'm actually not putting my, my foot is not touching the ground. So it's always like suspended. So you can actually see from here. I'm in one, two, three. So my foot is never actually touching the ground. That's how you get a better exercise, better workout, and also you get to work on your balance as well. So right leg, left arm. And now we we'll switch to the other side. So it's left leg, right arm. So same thing. So like this, making sure your foot doesn't touch the ground. There you go. Nice and easy, it's to flow. And then the other thing you can do if you feel that you're more experienced and you can actually try and do this and not get hurt is to actually try and engage all your upper and lower body. So you're kind of jumping a little bit, you're hopping a little bit while you're doing this. This is a little more intense. It's the same idea, it's just a little more intense. One side, other side. Here you go. It's a little more intense, it depends. So. With any exercise, you can actually do like this, let's say the beginner's level, the medium level, or the pro level. It's up to you, but just be careful that you don't hurt yourself. So always take it easy, stretch before, then while you're doing the exercise, just make sure that you're not, make sure while you're doing the exercises, that you're not pushing yourself so that you get a potential, like, you know, you can sprain your ankle if you're like jumping too much, or like if you're hitting the knee up high, you might hurt your, your knees. So just be careful of, you know, not like overdoing it. Just take it easy and remember, just let it flow. So we've stretched, we've done some very easy squats, some arm movements here. The other thing that you can do is if you feel like it, I like to work out because I don't like working with weights. I usually work out more with just my own weight. So what I do is I stick out arms so then you can also get like when you're just bending down a little bit, your 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 right leg, your right leg, sorry, your right leg is is in front, and then you use your left arm, and then you're doing like this. You're balancing. It's like you're. It's like kind of like you're sitting down, and then you're standing up, sitting down, standing up, and then all the weight is on one knee, on your right knee in this case, and then you switch. So left knee, right arm, and then you're about to sit down, stand up, about to sit down, stand up, stand up. That's what it is. So this is like a very basic workout to work out the glutes, legs, work out the core, work out some arms, and then of course you have all sorts of variations. You can add some weights, it's up to you. But then again, it's all about creating some easy routine that you can do whenever you are in between shifts. You wanna like step out of the car, stretch for a little bit, get your energy back, I'm a little bit out of breath already. And that's what it is. So. Thank you so much for watching. It's uh, been a pleasure. So this again is just a very small, short video showing you some exercises that you can do, some exercises. Thank you so much for watching. This is just a very short video to show some uh, exercises that you can do when you're driving out. You've been driving for several hours. You want to stop and just you know stretch and get your energy back because that's the thing. When you're working out, you get a lot of energy. So that's the best way to then be in a good mood and then get higher ratings and then of course higher tips from your customers. So it's been a pleasure. Uh, let us know if you want to see other kind of videos, uh, if you want to hear to other tips or advice uh, to help you become a better, healthier, smarter, funnier, and overall amazing Lyft and Uber driver. This is the Rideshare Hub. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Natalia Bilbao. And remember, if you're not a Lyft and Uber driver yet, but you're considering becoming one, you can get a sign-on bonus by clicking on the link in the description. So thank you so much and have a wonderful, healthy, and happy ride.